I'm back at beautiful St. John Cemetery. When I say beautiful, I'm not being sarcastic as I sometimes am. This is a beautiful, beautiful, immaculately kept, maintained cemetery. And it has one of my favorite things ever in the world. A, a real life DTEX watch clock station with the key and everything. I spotted this the last time I was here. <laughs> I got ridiculously excited about it. You just don't see too many of these anymore. But I came out here with... Uh, still milking that Metro card that I found with... Uh, I forget how much was on it now, 30 something bucks. <laughs> so it, getting to St. John is a bit of a project. There's a subway and then a bus, and then half the time I forget which stop to get off at on the bus, but I got it right this time. It takes you right to the front, front gate. By the way, that, that row of houses over there, uh, one of them is the is the Archie Bunker house that you see in the opening uh, in the opening of All in the Family it's on Cooper it's, it's, I don't think it's one of these but it's on that street if it's not one of these it is definitely on that stretch of road across the street from from St. John I haven't watched that in a long time but Every once in a while, I'll just spontaneously bust out laughing at some <laughs> some memory from, from that show, from All in the Family. It probably hasn't aged all that well, but I don't know. It's been so long since I, since I encountered it. But, but yeah, every once in a while, some zinger from that show will surface in my mind, and I'll just bust out laughing for no, no visible reason. Last time I was here, all the all the mausoleums were closed because of the pandemic. But I just passed through one of the smaller ones, so I guess they're all going to be open. I have reason to believe. Uh, I have it on good authority that there are actually three payphones on the grounds here. I knew about one of them from last time I came here. There are said to be two others. One at the Resurrection Mausoleum, which I think I think is one of these two big ones over here. And another one at what is called Building Seven. I have to figure out what that is. That is actually a pretty imposing structure. The St. John's Cloister. I'm here for this circular shaped building. This is where there is said to be a payphone. <laughs> yeah, this is really my life. If you look over here, you'll see they're building more mausoleums. They look like, uh, look like mailboxes. sure I'll figure this all out but this is the resurrection mausoleum but it's also labeled as building number seven but then across the street here you have another building labeled building seven so I don't know maybe they're connected underground indeed there it is in some low light very low light wow that's dial tone Although kind of a weird dial tone. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this phone's a mess. It connects, but it's got this hum. Here it is from a little wider angle. So it has dial tone, but it's a very husky, weird dial tone. Calls connect, but you can't really hear the other party very clearly. Well, this is a great place to get lost, isn't it? Trying to find my way out of here, I was just just checking the space out a little bit and uh, felt a little awkward getting that video for a variety of reasons but so I didn't say anything or maybe I did I don't even remember now this is not the entrance that I want it rather this really does feel like a labyrinth like it's designed for me to not figure out how to get out of here <laughs> okay I think this is it yes this is the exit that I want seen this before but I realize now though that I I take my hat off anyway when I enter one of these places This is the St. John Cloister. Oh, this, this makes it easy. <laughs> Public phone this way. And there she is. No prodigal son here in terms of the phone. Doesn't work. And I'm not going to be leaving a payphone radio card here. That's just not cool. It's a hell of a name to have gone through life with. Something very penisy about this place.
here's a style, <clears throat> excuse me, here's a style of, of, uh, a font and a style that I'm not familiar with. Oh, there's another person by that name. Maybe it's a more common name than I think. Yes, that really is Charles Atlas. Beautiful structure, but it does get a little monotonous. I was looking for columbarium niches, and I actually found a room with them, but there was somebody in there praying. Music in here is nice. This sounds like sati. Oh, no, it's not. Well, this is the top floor. And I've been through pretty much every floor now. They all look more or less the same. I only saw one room with columbarium niches in it. It's too bad there's no view to the outside world from up here. This is the sixth floor. Or is it the fifth? I got a little confused by that. Okay, so just to set the record straight, this building, labeled Resurrection Mausoleum, 
had a phone with a, a really weird husky dial tone and calls connected but you couldn't hear the party who called very clearly then this building St. John's Cloister had a non-working phone by a sink now we're going to check on one last one I wasn't going to do that by the way <laughs> I wasn't going to go stake out famous people but I, I only just happened to, to spot Charles Atlas. I wasn't looking for him, but it did register in my mind that he's here. So maybe my my antlers were, were perked. But when I spotted him, I figured I'd look for the others that I know to be in that St. John Cloister. So John Gotti and Mario Cuomo. Odd grouping of people, but at the cemetery for you. Okay, well, we have payphone. <laughs> we have visual. This is the one that I checked on. I don't even know how long it's been now. I think it was like back in November, December. It did not work. This is at the main entrance to the to the cemetery. There's the, there's the gate. I think the address is 8001 Metropolitan Avenue. This one also has a red, uh, siren light, siren thing on top for some reason. I'm not going to hold my breath, but let's see. No. No dial tone. This phone's as dead as everything else here. This one I don't mind leaving a card on. celebrity for you. Robert Maplethorpe, great photographer. Section 48, row B, plots 131 and 133. Seems like all the gates are closed except for this front one that I was at earlier. We'll take another look at the phone <laughs> from the side. Also, I uh, um, also wanted to get this little bit of signage from the other side with the better light. raises false hope that you'll be able to make a call. Because the phone's as dead as everything else here. I'm just gonna keep using that joke over and over again until it gets stupid. Well, this is on the 
uh, that's the parking lot, parking garage for the, the shops at Atlas Park. I'm not going to go in there today, but I've been in there a few times. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the Archie Bunker house, since I mentioned it earlier. I'll say this for St. Mike, I mean, uh, for St. John, compared to other cemeteries, is it feels like a friendlier environment somehow. Can't quite put a finger on it, but I feel like I can say hello to other people who are here, other visitors. And I don't feel like security is breathing down my neck all the time like I do at St. Michael's. I also just find that whenever I'm at St. Michael's, that anybody else that's there just seems strange. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm one of them. But in Calvary, well, there's just so few people there, but the groundskeepers have always been very approachable. One of them was even giving me tips on cool stuff to to seek out out there. But I do like St. John a lot. It's just a little far off my off my radar, off my uh, off my usual paths, but it's a bit of a project getting out here. There's the row of houses. They all look pretty pretty similar, if not identical. street address they use in the show it was uh, fictional of course but it was it wouldn't even have qualified as a valid Queens street address because it didn't have a dash in it but you have to be a Queens street grade geek to have keyed into that so those opening credits that end up at that house don't show you that there's a cemetery across the street <laughs> but now we know better there's a descanso in the middle of Woodhaven Boulevard I guess there was a fatal accident here place to die right across the street from the cemetery. Uh, St. John is best known, I suspect, for its mobsters. I did get the one, but I wasn't, I didn't want to make a project out of that stuff. I don't, I'm not really into celebrity burial sites in general, but sometimes I just say what the hell. But I think, um, the Genovese crime family is here, or some of them at least. And Calvary is also known for its, well, you know what, a whole lot of cemeteries are. St. Michael's is home of Frank Costello. Whose uh, mausoleum was famously robbed years after he died. really into mobsters. I do appreciate Maplethorpe though. His work was pretty cool. Well, I was, was not expecting this. This is uh, 63rd Road of Woodhaven Boulevard. And this is one of the ones that had Wi-Fi antenna on top of it, part of a pilot free Wi-Fi program that never got anywhere, it got swallowed by Link NYC. I'm going to be amazed if this thing works. Holy shit, it works.
That's a pretty husky dial tone too. Well, I guess I can't keep saying that 100% of New York's phones don't work. Although, I'm gonna actually try to make a call if I have any change. You know, I don't think I have any change. Oh wait, yes I do, yes I do. Nope, nope, no I don't. And I'll try, um, I'll just try 311. Yep, 301 connects, so. We have a working payphone in New York City, can you believe it? And yeah, this music is going to turn this whole video into a copyright violation, or a copyright infringement. There's the landline. Huh? That was funny, I got interrupted by what I guess was the owner of Bridie's, the bar that was, that that phone was outside of. He was having fun with the payphone thing. Uh, I'm not sure how much of that I might have caught on video. I wasn't, I was sort of taken aback. <laughs> but he picked it up and made some funny comments. I told him I never thought I'd find another working phone in New York, but in the outdoor space that is. Here comes the remains. This is at 63rd Avenue and and the Haven Boulevard. Nothing to see here. There used to be a bunch of payphones at this mall, but they disappeared in January of last year. They were owned by uh, a company with a very generic name, something like Interstate Communications or something like that. They were based in Georgia. Somebody told me this is the most highly trafficked mall in the world, or maybe just the U.S. I think I did this one before, but here it is again, Justice Avenue and uh, 52nd Avenue in Elmhurst. Yeah, this one's beautiful.